Shots Fire Podcast in association with Ashy Entertainment brings to you the Sunday Night Rant with Simon Phoenix. Tap in. Yo, what's good with it? It's your boy, Simon Phoenix. Shots Fire Podcast, Sunday Night Rant. If you're new to the program, yes, this program, this show, these videos, it's all topic driven. It's going to be information at the bottom of the screen for you to get your topic on the show. Get it? Got it? Good. Joker's in the building. What's good with it? What's good, man? Shit, Playboy. Um, it's been a lot of things going on in the world of, let's just say, uh, hip hop and battles and hip-hop. beef and all it's kind of shit game. going on. Grammys, you know what I'm saying? It's been interesting yeah. out here. But you know how we do, man, but we're not going to go right into that. We're going to talk about some good positive stuff. Okay. Okay. Before we go into uh, Skeletor mode. Okay. So what, what's the positive? What's, what's, po- what's positive that you would like? To do What's today, man, is the fact that Killer Mike mm-hmm. has jumped out the gate with three Grammys on the night. Man, hooray for hip hop! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, we gotta make sure give him his flowers. So, Killer Mike has cleared all of the hip hop topics, or should I say, um, awards you can get. That's right. Is that a hat trick? Yeah, hat trick. Is, is this hockey? Is this hockey? Because that man got a hat trick. So he has a Best Hip Hop Award for Michael, Best Hip Hop Award Song for Scientists and Engineers, and also got Best Hip Hop Performance for the same song. So salute to Killer Mike. I, I like that. That's, man, that's... It's, Man, we should have done. We should have looked up who was the last person to do that. To do that, probably nobody. That might be a one and done. Might be a one and done. Yeah, we could ask. Yeah, let's 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 let's. let's we can always ask Google. The only person I can. How many that. artists have won all of the hip hop awards for a Grammy in the same year? I'm gonna say Eminem, Jay Z. And Tupac. No, it's giving me like the total number. It's not giving me. It's it's giving me a total number. Like how many times people have won a Grammy, not how many times people have actually did a sweep, as like we're talking about right now. So that's not the same thing. All right. Um, we'll look that up, and we'll put that in the comments. There you go. There you go. He gonna do that. Yeah. We'll, he gonna we'll, do that. We'll that we'll he gonna do that. He gonna do the research. He the research guy today. But I, but I think I think it's gonna be Eminem, Jay Z. <laughs> And maybe Tupac. I, I can see. I can see. Like just off. That's your guess. Yeah, that's all. That's, 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 I, t- I accept your guess, yeah. but I say no. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. I'm, I'm think it's like you maybe got two, and then somebody snuck you on a performance because they wanted to help somebody out. I think a bunch of people had that happen. But they got two, but they didn't get all three. But the Grammys was spoiled for him. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, news reports have came in that. Killer Mike was arrested at the Grammys as well. So (laughs) I laugh at that because part of me wants to say that this is probably a publicity stunt. I heard that and that would be a good look because they said he tweeted like maybe like an hour after being escorted out by LAPD. So um, I want to say it's the Bitcoin Center or something like that. Yeah, it's something like that. It's like uh, 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 it's a it's an arena out there that's like named after like the Bitcoin. You know, Man, he th- tweeted about Bitcoin. No, he didn't tweet about it. He just said, you know, God bless. Like oh, he just won three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just tweeted, that's, that's, that's or it, it's not tweeted. Man, it's like, not tweeted anymore. It's X. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, that's what it's that's X. what it's called, right? X. Okay. I don't, I don't of course you're gonna say you don't I know you I know you're gonna say you don't know I, I know you're gonna say you don't know but uh apparently he's supposed to be free so that's good and 
I just want applauding for his three Grammys. I don't really have much to say about the arrest because we don't have no clue. It probably was a misdemeanor LAPD just being assholes. You know how they get down. Soul man vibes. Like I can see him scrambling around in the back, hiding. You'd have made it to action comedy. Right. You got you got Killer Mike barrel rolling around and hiding in boxes. You know what I'm saying? Make it the good one. What did when he get to do one song? Make it the good one. All right. I came with you. That is. That is bullshit. That is bullshit, right? Well, whatever there. it is. funny. Man, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you know, it's hopefully it's nothing if he's out, you know what I'm saying? You know, good, you know, but, but hooray hip hop. You know? Goddamn, that's, that's awesome. Like, hey, it's a lot of history going around. And yeah. Yeah. Why not make black history with a dude that's, you know, also like a, 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 a voice for the black community. So, I'm gonna go into our next one, right? Because this, this this was the this was the one that was most interesting. This was m more interesting than Killer Mike, only because I'm just curious how the internet's gonna handle it, right? So Nicki Minaj and Meg The Stallion both have diss records, kind of, sorta. So if you heard. Megan's this, yeah, kind of sorta. Of, because here's the difference, right? This is what I was gonna say to you behind closed doors, and I forgot that Nicki Minaj's song sounds like a classic disc record, meaning that from beginning to end, I'm talking about yo ass and yo ass alone. Exactly. Where Meg the Stallion sounds like I'm trying to address a bunch of motherfuckers talking shit at the same time, and that's not the same thing, right? So Nicki replied. And I think you may have fell into a trap. <laughs> now, here's the reason I say that. If you are smart as a rapper and you are punching above what some people may consider your weight class, what happens is you get pulled up to their weight class. <laughs> and because of that, it looks and appears like a fair fight. And then you can... If you're smart, pull off the Rocky effect, meaning that you can either go toe to toe with them like he did with Apollo and gain the respect of the peers in the world, or you're going to go against the Russian machine. And even if you get the brakes, even if you're getting the brakes beat off of you, you go sneak out this win. I say that to say this. I think Meg has trapped Nikki. Nikki has responded with a whole song. That's in Meg's favor. Why? Because people are going to go and listen to why you responded if you are the top dog. You the top dog and you didn't respond. I got to hear the song that made you respond. Correct. So there's going to be many people that's going to go do that. That plays in Meg's favor, especially because she has a new deal and her deal is structured in a way that she is an independent artist getting all the bread. She didn't finally squeeze them to give her what she's supposed to be getting as an artist. So what does that do if your new single is the song that everyone needs to listen to because you dissed the top chick being Nicki Minaj if she is the top chick as y'all say she is? Everybody turned and looked checkmate now all she has to do is come with at least a full tilt a talk assassination a shot fire bang like this show you gotta come with it now okay, yeah, yeah we did i'm glad yeah yeah i like that we didn't speak about that because that, 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 that kind of changed my whole that changes what i'm thinking it's chest not checkers it's chest not checkers because it kind of made me feel like how like now just follow me. How cannabis and LL went at it, right? Mm -hmm. Now cannabis came. I'm mad at you using this this no, analogy, no, just bro. To me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let hard. you do it. I'm gonna let you do it. Came at him hard. Mm -hmm. Came at him hard, and it made everybody listen. Like, whoa, this young man went at the god. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. And his album was trash. So <laughs> Meg, <laughs> so Meg has to come with some fire right now because like you said now everybody going back to listen to what like because in my opinion nikki has the more jab worthy this it's more directly than her it's sort of like a, i mean it's a like, real this it's, it's a real more, diss. It's on like a, a no vaseline type joint you know what yeah saying? it's like a, right it's at a, her it's right yes at, no way it is a diss record whereas 
Meg's is like kind of broad. It's kind of like she only say Nikki name like maybe once, maybe twice. But then, but it's kind of like the rest she didn't even really say her name. Yeah, she don't really. She just she'll say her name. She just say her business to a point where it's it's vague. Like we know but, who you talking but about. You know who you talking. We know who you, who she's talking about. But the song is kind of vague on some other stuff. Like you don't know who she maybe she talking to everybody to a point. So at this point in time, with us listening to this song. She got to come with something hot. If she don't come with something she hot, she got to come with a whole diss song. I, I'm I'm saying it here first. If y- whoever is in her camp, now you got to come with a diss song. Whatever you want to do, you got to come with a diss song. You want to talk about implants, booty shots, she funny looking, the damn voices, whatever you want to do. You need to put pen to pad and you need to do that. I've heard several people discuss this and a lot of people believe that Meg, your pen is not strong enough to defeat Nikki. I'm going to say this from the bottom of my rapper guy heart. I believe you got it, but I believe you can do it, but you going to have to get little. You better go home and you better listen to every diss song you ever heard. And you better let that push your T play on repeat. And then every now and then, you start playing something that's just as volatile and gangster. You need to come with the full assault. Don't be playing. Right. I mean, we love the Megan's law. You know what I'm saying? We all got that. And if you didn't get it, it made you go out and Google it. And right, you right. Go Google it. You'd be like, ooh. Ooh, it come with that sting. It come with that fire, that burn. I would agree. And then, you know, Nikki turned around and foot, put full on blast that, you know, you, you got a whole man that's locked up. Well, no, he free. No, no, no I'm talking about Tori. Yeah, oh, well, you know. About, you know. But, Meg, you got Tori up in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Putting rocks in your foot, you know. I mean, and look, he, look, he, it was it was so vicious what? on both sides. It's vicious. It's, it's very vicious on both sides. But I think, like I said, I think Nikki's is more like that punchy. Like it her, she got more punchlines. Like, well, she just got her trapped shit. in a. She has Nikki but. really trapped in a position where she still has to reply, and that's the bad part because if you throw the first shot, right? If I throw the first shot and then you bite the bait, what you're going to do is call for others to watch. Like I like I stated earlier, but on top of that shit, because then you get some new shit on top of that. When they spit that shit against you, people waiting for the reply. So that gonna be free press for you, and that's what I mean. Why you got to assault her? I'm not saying that your album gotta be good. She could drop a project and could be subpar. But if her diss song that comes next, if she comes with like prime example, when Drake comes with back to back, right? Everybody who heard that, that was a diss song on top of being a party song. On top of being a party song. So Drake was riding on, I'm Drake, I got a party song, people are partying, and then they they figure out that... you while they singing it at the same time. Wow. If I'm Meg Thee Stallion, that's exactly how I gotta come. That is the point. You got to come for pure destruction on your reply. And if you do it properly, right? Taking a note from Drake. If you do it properly, you can bring down the dragon. But if you don't, this is going to be a career ender. And if you don't reply, it's going to turn into, if you don't reply, the only way to continue your career after this assault is you're going to have to pull a Rick Ross and your album's going to have to be fire and you're going to have to have at least two top ten hits. Yeah, like just pushing her out, pushing her out of the top ten. Well, that, think about it. When when Rick Ross and Fifty Cent went at it, Fifty Cent won the beef from the public perception, but Rick Ross still had hits. Yeah. So because he had hits, it negated him losing. Because at the end of the day, women who were partying in the club didn't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if 50 Cent was talking shit about him. It's still my here's, shit. Here's 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 my crazy thing though, right? The, the, the bad thing about going second in a diss battle is sometimes that person that goes second, they usually unload their full clip. So, like, Nikki done used, I think Nikki has used everything that she can really kind of say. Nah, nah, nah. She's more of an MC. So, this is why I say. Whereas, that, whereas Meg's, her first song, her first, her diss is kind of, it's vague. It's Meg like, can stretch this out. Meg can stretch this battle out that's for, what I'm saying. Well, now, for, for the next, next three song, months. Easy. For her next song. 
she got to come hard. She got to come with the rest of it. Whereas I do believe like Nikki kind of like unloaded the clip. No, nah, man. I, I, if you're Nikki, because Nikki is witty, right? Nikki Penn is strong. I'm going to give Nikki credit. If you are a... But you can't keep coming back telling tell the same... This no, 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 no. See, you, you missing what I'm saying, saying from a rapper thing, right? It ain't about T. It's about being a rapper. So she can really dismantle her by doing the ether of her career. She can break her down. She can get on her Jay-Z and say, she just gave tidbits of you as a flop. She really could drop numbers. And she can do that in a way that what she's saying is so horrific. That is going to be hurtful. If she start pointing out specific songs where, hey, bro, you, 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 the only time you move the units is when you was with somebody else type shit. If she starts saying that type shit, like you're, you're a sidekick chick. If she starts putting that on the floor, it's going to change the game. That's why I said, if you're Meg, you have to strike now and strike hard, but you can keep it going because no matter what Nikki does in the next time Nikki replies, you still going to get a chance to reply. You always going to get the chance to drop the dagger because Nikki is replying to you. That's the difference. You're not replying to Nikki. And that's why it's a trap because she can technically keep this bullshit going as long as she wants. But the music got to be hot though. Yeah. And the music, all the music got to do is be hot. The music don't even technically the music don't even got to be hot. It's got to be lukewarm. It's got to be long, warm enough where you keeping us, keeping us paying attention. And the key to that is this, right? And and I'm not saying this person's music was lukewarm, but they did something very similar. Pusher T been slapping Drake in the face for years. It it took a full lot of salt for us to, to for all of the people who weren't paying attention to pay attention. But he was really slapping Drake in the face for years. He was dropping all kind of little punchlines and slick remarks and all kind of shit. Technically, Meg can do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, all you gotta do is, uh, That's why I say it's chestnut checkers. Do a song where something like you do an acronym of pedo. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, all kind of stuff, bro. Oh, just, 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 oh just you, you. There's so many ways artistically she could go with this. She could stretch this out for a while. Yeah. All right. Um, the next one is Super Bowl prediction. Since they they said they said they said y'all was talking all that shit about the Lions. Who you got in the Super Bowl? I'm a Lions fan. <laughs> That's what to say. This will not let me answer this question, so I yield to the uh, host of the show because I don't. That's do fucked that. up. He just put it on me. Um, okay, I'm gonna make it that. make it very simple. I think that uh, the Chiefs are gonna pull it out. Uh, that's just my opinion. I think that the Chiefs are going to be right around a 27 point mark and San Francisco is going to be able to score like 20 points. That's my prediction. I don't I'm just pulling that out the air, but that's I feel like it's going to be that type of game. I think it's going to be a mostly defensive game. Blood. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I don't think it's going to be a lot of turnovers. That's just me. That's me. Um, I'm only watching for the halftime show. Come on, Usher. Make this, make, make, make this, make hey, this. Hey, speaking of that, game. speaking of that, Usher doing the halftime show is, a, fire. is very impressive. But I'm like, okay, we're going to get yeah. And then what? And then where is yeah going to be in the lineup? Is yeah going to be early in the lineup or yeah going to be at the end of the lineup? Man. I don't care where it land at, man. Usher I mean, cause sexy. Usher's slightly sexy, bro. So we yes. can't we can't have Usher up there talking about so um it's it's gonna be good, good. Yeah, but Rihanna got a lot of bop. I think she got you know, more bop so than he, Usher. I think he's gonna do a lot of his like collabo songs, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you think he's gonna bring out people? Yeah, it's gonna that's the beautiful part. Like uh, of uh, of So you, you think know, we gonna see Lil John? Oh, you and Luda? <laughs> yeah. You think we gonna see oh, Yeah? Yeah, we're gonna see yeah. Yeah. He coming out. Okay. That, that, okay. That's like they hit. Usher at the Super Bowl. We say it's a hit. We say that's gonna be a hit. Okay. I think he still. I think the, the halftime show gonna steal the show. It's gonna steal the whole game, man. Ain't nobody. Don't, I'm telling you, man. Don't nobody really care. Man, people, people care. care it's people Kansas care. City fans and San Francisco fans. Man. Like, don't, San Francisco America, fans care because the they feel like they ain't been there like, in a long man, time. And I'm telling you, it's like America's a fan. I don't think we paying attention. Nah. 
I think the rest of America don't care, bro. Like, I, bro. I, like, I don't think we pay attention. Um, well, bro, uh, the last one is very simple. Valentine's Day is coming up. Lover's Day. What you doing? You doing anything freaky deaky? You got something going down? You got a tenderoni? You going to flip Walmart. like butterscotch? I'm going to Walmart on the 13th and I'm knocking all that shit over. Oh, you angry love. <laughs> <laughs> he said Open it real arms, straight forward. Both arms out and I'm just walking down the aisle. Straight angry love out here. But no, you know where I'm going to really do with that, man? Uh, 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 family Dollar. You know, they, they, Ooh, ooh you, you they doing the broke pimp out. love. Yeah, I'm go broke pimp. I'm gonna go tell Tonight was sponsored by Screwball. Screwball. When I'm when I'm, look, look, when I'm not drinking stock to bar vodka, I drink a screwball because that's the kind of dirt bag I am. Oh, that's what we didn't even do, man. We didn't even push the button, man. Oh, we didn't say no dirt bag shit we tonight for real. Yeah, dirtbag. look at us behaving. Right. Being some gentlemen. Right. Acting like our mamas taught us something. Ain't that about nothing. Um for me. I ain't doing nothing. I'm broke. I'm poor. I've been investing all my money in this damn show. I got another mic to buy and another light to buy. I am poor. But, uh, you know, it might be some, well, might be a tenderoni the out there that I might want to rub her back on Valentine's Day. You might take her for tacos. You know, that's how you got to do. Let me tell y'all, y'all ever want to impress a chick? Take her for tacos, baby. It don't matter. Now, long as I ain't saying Taco Bell, you dust bags out there. Dirt I ain't, bags. Nah, they not dirt bags. They dust bags. You take, take a chick to Taco Bell, you a dust bag. She got to be a chick. You got to bend and put it in her ear for you to take her to Taco Bell. Yeah. Like Taco Bell is not date food in any shape, form, or fashion. You margarita with these tacos. Yes. Take somewhere with yes. Bags. But you take That's her somewhere. Tacos you take her somewhere where they got fire tacos. I'm trying to tell you, you're in like Flynn, baby. Pay attention. I be teaching plus preaching. Anyway, all right. Mark so, Joker, anything you want to say? You know, I gave him a freebie. Everybody should be at the taco spot doing margaritas for Valentine's Day. Fuck the steak and shrimp. I'm trying to tell you. So, Joker, anything you want to say before we get up out of here? I'm trying to learn to look at the camera more, y'all, because it's hard to stare at the camera. I feel very creepy just looking at a camera while I talk shit. And I got a person in the room that I'm supposed to be paying attention to because right. I'm used to making eye contact. So it's very weird. So if I'm looking all around, it's really because it's hard to stare at the camera as I talk my shit. <laughs> I would just leave it with this, man. As of 2024, man, until I get both sides of the story, man, I really don't have a judgment on anything because it's like at this point in time, people can come out and say anything they want to and you'll believe it. Like, as long if it's gross and harsh enough, you'll believe it. But then it's always two sides of a story. And it's like, sometimes you got to think, at what point in time do you go from a participant to a victim? And it's hard for us as free-thinking people mm -hmm. to, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying right now, because like if you give me a scenario and I hear it and it's hor horrible enough, anybody can make a judgment on that. But right now, 2024, I need both sides. Well, you know, they call that don't have snap to judgment. I'm with you on that. I'm behind you on that. Got to get all the evidence. I'm with that as well. Because uh, you look bad at the end of the day. Yeah, you, you look bad. crazy when you snap to judgment and you're wrong. Yeah, That's you what it wrong. is. Dead wrong. Yeah, dead like wrong. you were saying that is very simple. You snap to judgment, then you be wrong, and you look stupid. It is what it is. Stop being dumb. Uh, for me, Simon Phoenix. Shout out to my man Joker for being my guest host tonight. T Crazy. Smokey Bones. Gotta give a shout out to my guys. And Therizel for being my guest host. Uh, before I forget, hey, if you want to get your topic on the show, some shit you want to hear me talk shit about, and so you can ridicule me in the comments, I love it. Shoot it to the email bottom of the screen. Um, outside of that, I have been Simon Phoenix. This has been Shots Fired Sunday Night Rant. Holla at your boy. I'm gone.